We live. What's up, man? Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you. Listen, I got some of the brilliant minds of the Eagles community. We got to come together and we got to definitely see what we could put all out on the table on how we could fix this issue with the football team that we all love. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to start from my right and go down back to the last person, back to me. Everybody, uh, please introduce yourself. Listen, man, we got a lot to talk about, man. Go ahead. Fresh. Year, 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 year that. You know who it is, man. You know what it is. You're born fully fresh. AKA the general man here reporting for duty, man. Uh, shout out to LB having us on the page. Shout out to everybody on this platform and shout out to y'all in the chat. I see y'all. Y'all was here early, man. Shout out to y'all. Yo, that go ahead, bro. What's going on, everybody? You already know I go by Philly Mike, host of the Philly Talk podcast. Shout out to LB, everybody on the panel. Um, we got a lot to talk about. What's good, everybody? How's everybody doing? All my cerebral NFL fans out there. Steve with Gay City Sports. Also, as Reese likes to say, one fourth of the Battle Birds podcast. Um, yeah, man, it's a big topic. Hey, everybody, I'm Mark Holmes, and I'm so happy <laughs> to be here. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Yo, everybody, <laughs> doing? King Dane Bat is here, Philly 500. And um, yeah, I, I've been looking forward to this all day because uh, I want I want to hear what these guys have to say about the current state of this team. You already know, man. And before and before we get into my first question, what we just was talking about, let me give a shout out to my man, Nell, man. Shout out to my guy, Nell, man. He in the chat right here, man. You know, we from where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? He know that we, it ain't, it ain't a lot of passion coming from our area of the city, man, but we going to talk about it because he's a, he's a passionate Eagles fan as myself. Shout out to my guy, Nell, man. My guy from the sandbox right there. So before... The first question, before we even started off with this, it started, you know, it got into a real good discussion about Carson Wentz's weight, his body composition, and how he came into the season. So um, if we could finish that conversation, I think a lot of people would like to hear that. Some of you guys are split between, you know, was he too heavy? Was he too small? Did it mess up his escapability? Um, what you think about that, Fresh? Um. Okay, okay. The gain in the weight to me is – and I, I I know people might disagree, but I I don't I I think if he doesn't gain that weight, he probably on IR. And when you look at it, right, coming in coming into just week one, just week one, we was up seventeen points. Doug Peterson chooses not to run the football. This guy took eight sacks and thirteen quarterback hits. So that was just twenty one times he got hit in week one. This dude is taking a beating. Mentally and also physically, and it's and, and, and it's a shame. Now, mate, now, 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 I do agree with five hundred because I because I know because I, I know what he's going to say. He did lose mobility. It's no, it's nothing to discuss about that. Um, but I still think that you can still roll the pocket out with this guy because we all know. I mean, LB, you say all of us on this platform say it. He was number two last year in rollouts, but yeah. you choose you still choose not to do that. I don't understand it. We see one or two a game, and number one or two a game is either an 18-yard play or 40-yard play. It's always something positive. So why do you choose not to do that? Go ahead, y'all. I'm going to say this. Let's go back a year ago when, when Carson Wentz was, was talking about doing what Tom Brady did. and He came in, and he, he looked thinner, right? He comes back from major knee injury. One of the things they always tell you if you have a knee injury is the less weight, the better for the knee, Okay. So he comes out, you look at him, go, just anybody, go watch the tape of him the last five weeks of last year. He can move from, from going back in the pocket and being in a position where he wants to throw, where he has to make that initial move. He can't do it now. He could do it last year. Once he starts running, he's fine. Okay, you say he got hit a lot of times week one. Yeah, that's because he's a sitting duck. Okay, mm -hmm. the Eagles, I believe, told him, you get hurt when you leave the pocket. We want you to stay in the pocket, be a pocket passer. Remember all the talk in the offseason? Carson has to stay in the pocket. He has to become a pocket mm -hmm. passer. That was the talk. They didn't expect the offensive line to be this bad, and it was. And I think when they did that, they took the best part of Carson Wentz's game away, getting out of the pocket, throwing on the run. And um, he is not playing his style. So I, I could understand why he wants to change plays or he doesn't like what Doug's doing. Um, it, it makes sense to me. Point. But to that point, they also aren't scheming to get him in comfortable positions either. Just because we know you're athletic, if that play is designed for a three-step drop back, 
and you just got to kind of wait for somebody to get open. I think it's just a recipe for disaster. But um, but we're, we're still on the same question about the weight. I want to know what everybody thinks about this, actually. Good question. Yeah. You want to go, go Gate? Ahead, no, uh, go ahead, well, my take is I see both sides. I think – um, the best game when it came to his escapability was a San Fran game. We saw him breaking tackles and also getting out the pocket. Not there wasn't they weren't scheming him out the pocket. They did a better job in that game, but he was just mobile in that game. Um, for the beginning part of the season, he was almost breaking records for having his most rushing type of uh, rushing yard season. However, I do agree with Fresh. As many times as he got hit, if he didn't have that weight man, would he be hurting? I mean, even watching the games, he gets up like, oh my goodness. I, so, I would say, I would I would just counter that real quick, and I don't mean to do it, but I would just say he wouldn't be getting his much if he could move. Possibly, but this, this yeah. is the worst yeah. offensive line he's yeah. played behind. Like, last year it was bad, but it wasn't Jamon Brown bad. It wasn't Nate Herbig at a time bad. It wasn't Jason Peters bad. It wasn't um, 12 different starting combinations bad. So we had a bad line the end of last season. But again, let's look at this. Alshon Jeffrey lost weight and he can't separate still. He looks slower. <laughs> Alshon Jeffrey lost weight and looks slower. So, know. Um, you know, the guys, if, if you look at Jalen Hurts, he's husky. Jalen Hurts is husky, but still got the escapability. I think it comes back to his mindset and the fact that he knows, you know, there's no room for this pocket and he's trying to stay in it. But he's just he's second guessing everything from passing to his escapability, you know, when to go out and when not to. I just think he's all in his head. The way he could play, and of course, he might be a little bit slower, a little less agile. But that San Fran game, if we could replicate that, he was not only juking people, he was breaking tackles. So I think it's just this football team is bad. Yeah. I just got done I, watching. I think, I think we're really badly built. Uh, it's just it's just bad all around, man. What you got on that, Gates? I just got done watching. I can't tell y'all how many hours worth of film breaking down Carson, breaking down some of what went on with Jalen Hurts in Green Bay. Like, I can tell you the one thing that stood out to me between these two quarterbacks. Both of their pocket mechanics are awful. Both of them are. They're not good. Either quarterback. I can tell you right now they could use my services because they need help with their footwork. Hardest um, man. Hire him. Now, I can tell you is that what I thought was Jalen Hurts' saving grace was to 500 point. It was his mobility. It was the fact that he had enough mobility to create plays on his own. So that was something like I agree with what Brunson was saying earlier, which is like it's a letdown that Doug hasn't schemed things to help Carson right. out with that. But I, I do feel like when Carson came in with those guns – in the training camp and did that body recomp you know, recomposition and got bigger. He sacrificed some of the athleticism to do that. Mm -hmm. So now you got a guy that maybe can't do it quite as often or is, isn't quite as effective at creating his own offense. Now in terms of getting outside the pocket on his own without those, you know, those helps because you got a bigger frame for defenders to pull you down now. So now when you try to do that head duck, there's more mass for these dudes to grab you by and pull you down. And that's his favorite move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It is. Really, <laughs> there's a lot of film on that too. <laughs> hey, 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 Gates. Hey, but, 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 even in that, and and 500. I'm, you know, if if, if y'all want to respond to this, I want you to respond to this. Even even with Jalen Hurts having all that speed at the quarterback position, he still got sacked three times and had right. seven quarterback hits. Right. So imagine, it's imagine, it's imagine a guy. Who can't, imagine a guy who can't move. With that same offensive line, but but but, but what I'm saying is, is it's the offensive line. Oh, the, oh yeah, the off. I mean, no, no. Look, it's, yeah, okay. it's not the, all the problem. Isn't that Carson is too big? That's just one one aspect of this whole I thing. The I offensive got line stinks. Right, yeah. we know it. Now yeah. they didn't expect that. They thought they would have Brooks. They thought that Lane would be back. They expected to have a much better line. I just think that their strategy going into this all season with Carson was was wrong because they wanted him to be just a pocket passer, and they've kind of stuck. They wanted with him that. to be Big Ben. They they've kind of stuck with that the whole year instead of letting go him do what makes him good. When, when he ro rolls out, he does. He, he's so much better. Okay, so I think. I think I, yeah. that's a fixable area, but the offensive line is horrible. And look, you get beat up, uh, you know, you get beat up every week. You're getting hit. You're getting hit. Of course, like your pocket presence gets all screwed up. You, you, you feel pressure when there's not pressure. You don't feel pressure. It's all screwed up. 
So I, I just think he's taken a big beat in this year. And, 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 you know, I think he's salvageable. I think he's fixable. Um, but th those are the things that stand out to me, you know. Hey, I agree. Uh, yeah, I, I, I agree. I agree. So, um, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, if you still got something to add to that, we would love to hear it. No, I was just going to say, right, we got this football team got 99 problems and one could be Carson's weight, but we still got more 99 other problems that we got to talk about. I can tell you about problems. Major problems. Hey guys, no. Let me ask you guys a question. Let me ask you a question. Over the last three years, the punishment that Carson Wentz has endured, I got to tell you guys, I have never seen a regression this far in mechanics before. Yeah. Now, mind you, I haven't watched every single quarterback that's ever lined up, but this is by far, of all the guys I've watched film on, this is the greatest regression I've ever watched in terms of pocket mechanics. Do you guys think that the repeated abuse is what is, is exacerbating this situation where now he's, he's dropping his head? He's, you know, getting pigeon toed so he's not pointing his foot in the direction of where you're throwing the football. He's dropping his elbow and he's dropping his arm on his, you know, on his actual wind up now. Which, when you come out of that ball carrot, you don't want to go down. That's how you get the ball stripped from you. Like, it just seems or, like every you know a lot of people that never play football. I believe that getting hit that much can affect those mechanics because you oh, got yeah, so yeah, much yeah, other yeah, stuff yeah. to worry about. You're not worrying about where your foot placement is or how you popping your hips into these throws. You're not worrying about you worrying about how fast the defense is going to get to you and how fast you got to you know throw the ball away. So you know, yeah, yeah, but, yeah that, you know, yeah, a, that's a, fact. And this is another thing that we got to be mindful of. Being as though we know that, a lot of people are taking that as an excuse when it's just a fact. It's the facts. Contact. You got to worry about if exactly if you got to worry about more than throwing a ball to complete in the pass then you got a bad offensive line. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It is, no, it I, is. I, I definitely yeah. think, I, I definitely think that the, the beaten has an effect, but there were also reports what, over like the last year where they said that they didn't really work on his mechanics. It wasn't a big deal. Like when they had D Filippo who really stressed it every day. Mm -hmm. Now, if you got that and then you combine mm -hmm. it with the beaten, you're yeah, it, it makes, it makes a lot of sense. Hey, where's, where's, Brees because, boy, because, Rich, where's, where's Brees's boy, Richie Rich at? Why is Rich Grandrello not – why are we just playing around with these titles? Give that man the quarterback coach title and let him work with these quarterbacks. I agree. Yeah. I, yeah, I agree. They're saying, but, uh, they're saying right now his main job, Scangrello's main job right now is to call the offense in the two-minute drill. We don't do good at, at those. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hell of a they, title. They, they came out last week and they ran the first 15 plays. Remember the first drive? Looked fantastic. Fantastic. <laughs> as soon as they stopped, they, it went yeah. right back to what it was. I did just kept repeating the same 15 even, plays. Even the week it's before the that, up. Miles Sanders fumbled. Even the week before that, yeah. they, they came out 15 scripted plays. Just keep, good. They was just running keep the calling football. those 15 plays until they and, stopped. And, and, and I don't get it. After the first drive, you just stop. Like, you run more in the first drive than you do the rest of the game. I don't under, I don't understand that. Like, gotta, like while while we're on this topic, I got a really good question for you guys. Go ahead. Really good question. So the question's on the bottom of the screen. What if play calling changes? What if play calling drastically changes the next game? That's what it's supposed to say. It I, will. I guess I, I wasn't paying attention. What if play calling drastically changes the next game? I, I think it will. I, I think it's how would you guys feel about that? Well, uh, well, then you, uh, go ahead. No, well, then you just know that there is some animosity, not only from Howie to Doug, but from Doug to Carson, because his sole job is to put every player on the field in, his, in the best position. And again, Doug not calling plays as scheme to Carson's skill set doesn't excuse Carson missing wide open players, but you still got to help your team. That's your sole job. Howie puts the players on the team and you're supposed to maximize the talent. It's been a horrible job from both Howie and Doug and you're gonna you're gonna get to see if Doug is like you know what I'm gonna take Jalen Hurts because he will run my play so the, you're probably gonna see some change and that is a problem right there. I, expect I agree. It. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, y'all. Go. I I, I want to go last on this one. Y'all go. <laughs> well, I'll say this. I expect it to because, but I don't think it's I don't think it's necessarily like, hey, we're not gonna do this to Carson because we don't like him. I just think they went into the season saying. This year, Carson, you're a pocket passer no matter what. And then they just refuse to roll him out for whatever reason. Um, with Jalen, they're going to roll him out.
because uh, first of all, your line stinks, and the guy can actually move. So it, it just would make sense. I'll say this: that you know when they began the process of building the actual playbook, they clearly had play. You know, the playbook is God knows how many pages long, probably three hundred pages plus, guys. So I mean, you're looking at something like that. They clearly have things that are built specifically for Jalen Hurts that probably are not implemented on a weekly basis. You know what I mean? Because you're not focusing the offense around Jalen Hurts. You're just building some stuff in there. I don't know how deep that is, but I think you'll see a slight change there. You're going to see things that are more tailored to what they originally had built around Hurts himself. Um, I got to be honest with you guys. Like, One thing Doug could do to help himself out here is to run the ball more. I mean, if this doesn't get it through his head to run the ball, I, no one can save your job then, Doug. Nobody can save your job if you can't even do the simplest thing. I think all right. So here, so 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 here's how I feel about it. I got I, I got big feelings about it. I want this kid to succeed. He's a Philadelphia Eagles quarterback. I want him to succeed. But in the back of my mind, I am going to be like, yo, dude, like why you couldn't do these things? Um, I don't know if y'all know this, and y'all and 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 I know y'all know I'm not a stats guy. I'm an eye test guy. I, I I read and react and 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 I say what I see. But here's a stat that is that is mind blowing to me. Coming into the Seattle game, y'all, I want everybody to listen to me. We had 144 quarterback hits and we ran the ball 189 times. Just think about that. Just think about that. Carson Wentz is taking so much punishment. You know what I mean? You're not you're not rolling them out. You're not running the ball enough. This needs to change for the Philadelphia Eagles to do anything. If you want to keep your job, Doug, this what has to happen. And I know we're going to get into the to the future and what's going on going to happen in the future. But if Doug has any way of trying to keep his job, he has to run the football. I want him to do these things that I'm that that we've been saying. I want him. I want him to run the football more. I want him to be a better a a better situational football of uh, a uh, head coach. I want him to roll his quarterback out to get him out of trouble because the offensive line freaking stinks. But at the end of the day, man, for him to keep his job, he got to do all these things. And and hopefully, a light bulb just just flashes in his head, and he say, you know what? Maybe this team is better if I do these things. I'm a, you know, I'm, I'm going to take it a step further. I'm going to keep it all the way real. If he decides to run the ball more next game, <laughs> it's a total indictment to his entire philosophy, if you ask me. Oh. If you now decide to run the ball and roll Jalen Hurts right now of all times to do things that it takes to win, like cut down some of the fourth down plays, like punt when you're supposed to, like let your field goal kicker kick when the field goal kicker's supposed to, whether he make it, that's on him, but at least let him kick. If you if you start doing these things that it takes to win now, I got to tell you, I don't know if I'll be able to forgive Doug Peterson. I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever look at him the same whether we keep him or not, because what that tells me is this, that you were so stubborn trying to push a philosophy that wasn't winning and you didn't want to adjust to win. This divi- We should have never lost to the Bengals. We should have never looked the way we looked against the Cowboys the first meeting. We shouldn't have lost to a lot of teams this year. If Doug decides to do something different now that the quarterback is different, I can no longer trust anything Doug says because you replaced one guy. I didn't hear nothing about Jason Peters being bitched. Or Alshon Jeffrey being benched. No, you, you know they don't. You, you, and, and 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 that's another thing. I'll be. I didn't mean to cut you off. My bad, bro. But oh, that's another ahead. thing. That's another thing. You know what they're doing now? They're saying that they're injured and they can't play. Both of them. This uh, this, 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 is, this is the thing. So instead you of benching them, them, you're saying you that, you're saying that Alshon got a calf injury. You're saying that Jason Peters, my toe hurts once again. Come on, man. Obviously, that one guy. So the way that the team is looking at it is that it's all one guy's fault. That's why Fletcher came out and stuck up for him. That's why Kelsey came up and stuck out for him. Now you, now it should be plug and play. You took the problem out, right? Now this pressure is on Jalen Hurts to execute the same system. I yeah, want to see the yeah. same amount of practice. Yeah. That's what I want to see. If you run the ball more, then I got a problem with that. Hey, LB, to just yeah. go a little bit farther than you, um, if that's the case, then again, if Laurie still is a Carson guy, um, and you see, like you said, the total change up stuff that you wouldn't do for Carson, you did for Jalen Hurts. Well, then next year it's going to be a 
one of them, you, you can't have them together. So it's either Doug or Carson. It's going to be a decision at that level. And, you know, Carson got the bread to stay. I think if that's shown to Lori, then it's going to be Doug and Carson can't coexist and you got to pick one. And that's for the future. But I will even say this. And if Jalen Hurts has to run the same offense Carson does and it's and he stinks and I don't wish this on him because I want any Eagle to do good. I want to beat the Saints. But then that's even bigger indictment on Doug. He can't do it with two different quarterbacks because his system's not good. You know what he I mean? Can't. Mike, he can't run this system. It's nothing against Jalen Hurts, but you're talking about a rookie quarterback without mini camps, w- without a rookie mini camp, without preseason games with like 30 some snaps before last week. Like he's not going to be able to run this system, man. I mean, it would be suicide. It would be suicide. Like if Doug does that, like, like I, you got to chop Doug because, man, that's just not, it's not okay. Like you well, said, that brings that brings to, run it. That to be chopped liver. But that Carson brings me to my next question. <laughs> Carson Woods have been pitched based upon what you just said, Gates, that this is the system that Doug been trying to run the whole year. Mm-hmm. That's a winning system because uh, he's been trying to win it. Obviously, he's been trying to run that system. Should you have benched Carson Wentz? My, my take on it was this. I would have. Anybody want to go first? And, and I know that. I know that people don't, they don't like the idea of splitting reps. And generally speaking, if you're competing, I don't like the idea of splitting reps either. It's it's ridiculous. You're you're killing momentum. But given the nature of where we are in the season and the fact that this is the Saints, I probably would have split reps against the Saints because this defense is serious that we're going up against. Like this defense can play. It's going to be tough to move the ball anyways. But I will say this, at this point, without all the, the whirlwind around this situation, Maybe the only way to analyze just how bad it is between Howie, Doug, and Carson is to see Jalen play. Mm-hmm. So that way you can pinpoint, nah, this ain't Carson. <laughs> like, or this Not is Carson. Much. You know, or you know what? This it's is a little bit of Doug and saying. Carson. But but, but but if he if he if he changes if he changes the system, Gate City, we still don't know. Because the only if he way does to prove that- with Carson is to have this kid come out and throw 40 times. That's the only way to prove it, in my opinion. I yeah, wouldn't bench him. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I, I wouldn't well, bench him. I wouldn't bench, bench him. No, no, I'd have let him play it through. You just signed this guy to what? Tons of money, right? He's 27 years old. I say let him work it out. Instead of saying, oh, he's a problem, let's just get him out of there. Let's do things to help him first. I haven't seen the Eagles do anything to help this guy all year, okay? So before I can go take him out of the game, I want to see you change things and do things to help him. They haven't done it. They keep doing the same things all the time. Now you have a full-blown quarterback controversy all year, all offseason. I think it's stupid. If we lose, if we would have lost the rest of the games and he plays horrible, so what? We get a better pick at this point. <laughs> Who cares at this point? You're not going to go to the playoffs and win a game. So I, I think it's stupid. That said, now that I took him out, I'm not rushing him back in. Because if I put him back in quickly and then he still struggles, he's done. I think he's finished. I think you sit him out the rest of the year. Gotcha. And I think I think you let him – Gather himself, go lose weight, get get a better offensive coordinator, coach, whatever you want to do, and then you know let him compete with an open competition with Hertz. But I think you got to be careful about how quick you put him back in because I don't know right. where this guy's head's at right now. But yeah, see, yeah, here, yeah. yeah, yeah I, 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 well, that here, here's the thing I don't like about the open competition. There can be no open competition. One guy's on this roster; he's making sixty million. He's your guy next year. It's just the truth. Yeah. It's yeah, just yeah. the truth. It it's the yeah, truth. Look, you're right. You're right about that. I mean, they pay Jason Peters right a little more, couple million dollars more. He's left tackle. Get Jordan Mulata's ass out of there. Fogum <laughs> tearing it up. All Sean comes back. Get his ass out of there. Fogum's <laughs> on the bench. You're right about that. It's the well, money that dictates who plays exactly. in this team. And what makes it worse is on the third day of the league calendar year for 2021. Fifteen million dollars of twenty twenty two gets guaranteed. Man, that team pisses me the fuck <laughs> off, dude. So you can't even know to <sighs> see them compete against each other before you make the decision. Yeah, but I, I would say this. I wanna real quick. The reason, and again, should he be a, should he have been benched in the Packers game? 
I mean, he he wasn't playing bad. He wasn't playing good. I think he just needed to change up. The biggest change still needs to be the play calling, but that's not going to happen. You're not going to take the only thing that Doug has, and that's why I believe he's holding on to it because how he controls everything else. So with that being said, you bench Carson. You had To me, you had to go with Jalen Hurts just because now – it's not Howie Roseman evaluation. It's Jeff Lurie's evaluation for everybody the rest of these games. Oh. I'm talking offensive line play. I'm talking, is it really Carson? Can Jalen Hurts play better? We got to see that. Howie <laughs> Roseman, <laughs> Doug Peterson. I'm not saying he can, but I'm saying Jeff Lurie got to be looking at these four games like Doug. Can you You're imagine? You're, you, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, go ahead, can, go you ahead. Imagine, can you imagine the guy's first career start? Of his career. You want him to do the best he can. You want to put him in the best position. And you put him in against the Saints. <laughs> That's that 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 I mean, it's so yeah, stupid. No. It doesn't like, make sense. Like, like, no. like talk to, talking, about, talking about just throwing him into the fire. Man, you throw, you throwing him into the grill pit real fast. Um, But, yeah, when you look at it, when you look at it, man, uh, uh, 500, I agree with you. They had, this organization has done nothing really the last three years to really help Carson Wentz out. Yeah. Like, 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 let's go to 2018 real fast. You don't sign the Garrett Bunt back. Who was your guy? I don't understand why you don't sign him back. This, this past year, you don't sign Jordan Howard back, but now you want to bring him back because you want to, you, you got a compensatory pick for him. You know what I mean? Which you do nothing with. So when you look at it, man, the, the, the wide receivers, I like Rhaegar. I think Rhaegar is being used wrong. I think a lot of a lot of players are being used wrong in this system, but when you look at it, man, wh what number one wide receiver has Carson Wentz ever had? None. You want to say Alshon? Not really. It was really at the end of his career, and we've seen that because now he looks like a now he looks like a a guy that didn't stole a refrigerator and he's carrying on his damn back trying to get it trying to trying to get it to the scrap metal yard. Right. And you 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 changed it. It was piano. Now it's refrigerated. <laughs> and you got and you got G code, right? You got G code in here. He always comes to mind. He tells me Carson's a great shape. Hey, G code. He looked like he ate three of you. Okay, <laughs> that's what Carson looks like. He ate three G codes. He is too heavy. Just flat out the truth. Hey, I love the thumbnails. Five hundred when you when you do the when you do the uh, the, the <laughs> fat Carson thumbnails. They're hilarious. Well, I, was, I was trying to make a point. You know. <laughs> Me because personally, I, though, guy, I wouldn't have benched him. I mean, I, I just think yeah. you got to let him go out. You just got to let him go out how he's going to go out. You know what I mean? Everybody's entitled to a bad season. I wouldn't have benched him because now look at the situation you're in. Because hey, I know Phil, I know what they're going to do. If this kid come out there and throw three picks or something like that, this kid confidence can be shattered. And if Doug, they're going to they throw in two quarterbacks in the same season. Bro, if they got to go back to Carson Wentz before the end of this season, do you know how bad and awkward this situation is going to be? Correct. And what happens if Carson plays bad? <laughs> I mean, like, this guy, hurts. no, I mean, what happens if Hurts plays bad or something happens and you put Carson back in and then and he's, he's even more screwed up? Yeah. yeah. Then what do you have? That's, my, that, that's, my, that's my, my bold prediction is that Carson is going to come back in this game around hey. the second half. They're going to switch back to Carson Wentz. See, if LB. The, the only thing I, I would ask you is, I think it's good for an evaluation on this coaching staff to get a look at. You couldn't do it with one. You can't do it with two. You probably throw Nate Sudfield in there. And you can't do it with him. So, Lori got to say, why am I Why am I paying press? Why am I letting Doug do this? Howie, why am I letting you stick your nose on field business when you can't even draft right? I think this needs to be – we need to kind of lose – even worse than we've been so Lori can start dropping the hammer because guess what if we go into 21 with ugly draft picks with how we doing that doug still doing this we're going to just i'm just going to take all my videos from this year and put them all out for next year because it's going to be the same thing if we don't change some stuff up and get healthy you know what i mean can i just say something no, like nobody, nobody. Go, go how we get how he's going to get fired <laughs> well that's up and the, he, that that is that has to happen. If that yeah. does not happen, nothing will change. Even if they fire Doug, who do you think Howie's going to hire? He's going to just hire another yes man. I mean, look, we won a Super Bowl with Howie. I mean, with uh, Doug. But the truth is, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think the only reason they hired Doug Peterson was because yeah, Andy, Andy knew him and because he's a yes man. Yeah, he probably. won't challenge them. Right? Exactly. 
That's well, cause, 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 let, after let, Chip let, Kelly, they didn't want anybody who wanted control. That's right. why Doug and, and Howie are having problems. Doug's going, dude, you can't draft. I don't like these players don't fit. Let me have some control. And Howie's saying no. I'm telling you, there's a civil war between those two. And yeah. I'm afraid you, Howie's going to win. You 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 absolutely you absolutely right. Because when you when you really, really break it down, right? Um, how many head coaches come into getting a job? And a defensive coordinator is already hired. You bring it, and 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 this this year, you bring in all these guys. You bring in Richie Rich and all these other dudes. How is and you? they're not your guys. You come out last year and you say that Mike Grow will be back. That's my guy. Seventeen hours later, step into my office. Why? Because you're fired. Right. They fired. They fired him because. Howie probably was like, you got the audacity to tell 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 them that he's gonna be back. Right. Oh no, he's not. And, and then, and not only that, who was the only guy that's really left on the staff? Deuce Staley was here before him. All the other guys they just brought before him. Um, I mean, uh, after him. So when you look at it, Press Taylor is his guy. He keeps giving onus and keeps throwing things at Press Taylor to do because that's his only guy, and the only power that he has right now is play calling. That's really it. When you look at yeah. it, he is not going to give that up. And if it and if it is, it's going to be to his guy who got too much on his plate. How are you supposed to, be, how are you supposed to call plays? Be the quarterback, quarterback coach, the the, the, the OC, whatever. All these, all these titles that you got. How Doug's is Aaron, the, Doug's Aaron boy? That's <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying. Right? How, like, like, how like, is like, Napoleon of the NFL? He is the Napoleon of the NFL. Okay, think about it. No GMs want to work with the guy, right? How hard was it when they hired Joe Douglas? There are credible GMs that don't want anything to do with him. There are coaches that don't want anything to do with him. We find out last Clear. year on the draft, yeah, that that the, the the Eagles scouts wanted Jefferson and Chin first and second round. How he said no, he took their advice and said no because we're a quarter, we, because we're a quarterback factory but and. That, but, and now he's telling Doug who to play off the practice squad. But, uh, we're a quarterback factory, but our backup quarterback can't even get on the field. A guy that you had since 2016 that you're supposed to have groomed to be a quarterback factory. Quarterback factory where? Stop it. But you know what's funny, Reese? Do you remember? I think it wasn't it Tom Gable uh, that uh, how he fired when um, – when uh, what's his name? Went on vacation. Chip Kelly went on vacation. And then uh, – I don't remember that. Doug, I, uh, yeah, I, I think fired, I was, I was he fired personnel boy while he was on vacation. That's what caused and the whole know, you, yeah. and, and you know what's crazy? The guy, the other guy that he fired is on um is on Monday Night Football giving him smoke. <laughs> Lewis Riddick was on yeah. Monday Night Football giving him yeah. all the smoke that he wanted yeah. and, and, and is deserving so. Lewis Riddick hates, he hates Howie. Yeah. He's always hated you know, Howie. You know what's ironic is, is Doug took the podium, tried to seize the moment, was like, no, 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 these guys will be back. And then Howie's like, you're not Howie and me. <laughs> exactly. You're not Howie, Howie and me. blew it. That, Howie that is, blew it. To me, that is the number one thing that has to happen for this team or we're in trouble. I, 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 I really think that. I agree. I mean, Howie rules you know, from, the, from the control that he has and the bad play call. Not the bad play call. I'm sorry, the bad draft picks. And just the you you know the the toxic vibe knows what's really going on behind the scenes. The one thing how we the one thing how we did do well in my opinion was signing Carson Wentz. A lot of people want to jump out the window and say the contract is too much, but the contract was made just in the right time to where if the Philadelphia Eagles did want to move on from Carson Wentz, somebody would pick that up at the drop of a dime because you're not going to get a franchise quarterback that cheap. You ain't right. gonna get one that cheap. So I, 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 no, I, I, not, not, not I, I agree years. with you up until the second round of the last year's draft when they go, the Eagles take Jalen Hurts. Then all yeah. of a sudden it was like, well, what the hell's going on here? You know, yeah. you, you, you know, pay yo. this guy and now you're taking a quarterback? 500. The funniest thing was is Mike knew the pick ahead of time and he was texting me when we were doing the live stream. And he was <laughs> like, yo, do you want to know who they selected? So he, no. he texted me who they selected and my face just changed on the live stream. Because I didn't want to tell nobody what I knew, but I knew what the pick was about to be because Mike told me. That's because he was tipping Mike off to hit it out. I'm gonna spit it out like I'm not gonna believe this. And, and, this and, and, and a lot of people. Can I can I ask y'all a question? And and and, and I want y'all because because I, I I don't feel this way, but a lot of people have been asking me. A lot of people have been texting me. A lot of people have been commenting saying this. 
Um, if he comes out and balls or whatever the case may be, is this is is, is this second pick? I mean, do you like it? Because I still don't. You know what no, I mean? I mean even, if comes out, even if he comes out to and balls, even if he wins the last four games, I don't like it. No. We had too many yeah. holes. When you look at it, man, we have more holes than the laundry basket. Like, like I seriously, know, I don't know, bro. If he won, if he if he won the last four games, if I don't he won know. The bro. last four, then listen. No, I, I don't. Like that that. I didn't. I, <laughs> I would like agree that. that I didn't like it at the time. But there, listen, first right. of all, listen, let's look at the level of difficulty. If and again, I doubt he's going to win. But then you're talking about the Saints, the Cardinals, and two division games winning. After we just saw that this team, we just said how bad this team is. So if he just puts this yeah. team on his back, it's going to be heavier than that refrigerator and piano on Alshon Jeffrey's back. And so it would, I mean, you can't say no then, but here's the thing. I still stand by if Carson Wentz is your guy, which it is because you, you, you drew up the contract. That's, I can't even trust Howie because how do you, how do you draw this contract up? And then poof. You draft a quarterback, so it's like it's a horrible decision. A lot, of, a lot of before we get to the next question, I just want to say a lot of jobs are on the line. That is why you saw that mention at the time that you did. So Correct. for the next question, what do you expect from Jalen Hurts? Like realistically, what do you expect from this guy making his first career start as a rookie who didn't even foresee himself playing? Basically, being fed to the wolves to become Dwayne Haskins 2.0. What oh, do you expect from him? In, the, in, this, in this game versus New Orleans, it's very uh, yeah. simple. I think he goes out. I think he has an early drive and scores a touchdown, and then he struggles the rest of the game. The Saints adjust and shut him down. That's what I think will happen. I think he'll do good early, and everybody will be like, oh, look, he just went down. But the Saints, you know, they'll just adjust, and they'll settle in, and, and that'll be it. You know, it's funny because last game, it was 23-6 when he comes in. Green Bay is kind of playing prevent. They're playing back. As soon as that became a one-score game, they tightened up on defense. He couldn't complete a pass. Could not complete a pass. I I, I think I think he struggles. It, it's tough. So what I'll say is this: I, I don't want to. I don't want to speak negative of a kid that's going to go out there wearing an Eagles uniform. And I, I'm I'm hoping this kid yeah. balls and looks like the second coming McNabb out there. I'm not going to. Yeah, lie. we all we all well, want my, him to do good. That's what my hope is. Well, we got to be true. In, in order to do that, he's going to have to create offense for himself. He's going to have to get out of that pocket at times and extend plays to give these receivers time to, to separate from these corners. And I just don't know how often you can do that against a defense of this caliber. But I'm hoping that, that they have to start cheating on him and using it, a linebacker to spy him. And I'm, I'm hoping that Doug dust off his old playbook and, I don't know, calls up Frank Reich this week get some inspiration and I mean, pull something out of his, you know what <laughs> to, 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 I mean, to utilize this kid properly. To, I mean, the, the hard thing is, is 500. You're right. When the game tightened up, he had a heck of a harder time throwing and completing yeah. passes, but there were some moments where like he showed a little bit, like, like yeah. when I broke down my film of him this afternoon, I said the good, the bad and the athletic. Yeah. And I got to tell you, man, that, that touchdown pass to Greg Ward Jr. in mm. the end zone was a thing of beauty. Was it, it was very reminiscent of, of what we used to see from Carson when he would elude pressure, get outside yeah. the pocket, and make the most unorthodox pass that I would never coach a quarterback to do. Right. But somehow off his back foot, with his front foot nearly three feet in the air, drops a, a dime in there. Like, yeah. there, there, are, there are glimpses, these really small glimpses I saw in the film where I was like, you know, I understand why some people are really high on this kid. But consistency yeah. is going to be an issue against a defense this caliber. I will yeah. say this to all of my yeah. Dallas people that keep chiming in and tuning in here. I think it can beat you guys. If that's the only win we have the rest of the year, I'm good. Um, I, get, I, get, I get that stinking voodoo doll's head. I, I, I'm i good. I hey, get yeah, that, head. That's going to be that. big 500. But that's LB, my Super Bowl. Hey, hey, LB said it great. LB said, listen, you know, and everybody on the panel says, as long as Jalen Hurts is wearing men like green, let's go. But J uh, LB said it in multiple videos, why not give him the two games at the end where he can gain his confidence against a Washington football? Well, Washington's playing pretty good now, but a Dallas Cowboys team who stinks just like us. But I want to say this. I think he's going to struggle because at the end of the day, the way the Saints defense is playing, if the, if the Green Bay Packers and Aaron Rodgers were playing them, he probably struggled. Tom Brady struggled. Matt Ryan struggled. 
every quarterback that has played him the last four or five weeks has struggled. So this defense is living up to the number one defense in the NFL. But I will say this. I'm going to make this statement. If Jalen Hurts wins, if the Eagles win with Jalen Hurts as a quarterback, somebody in my comment section for one of my videos, will I will buy a Jalen Hurts jersey for somebody out there. So you got this on tape. That, you know I will what that buy means, a jersey everybody. for somebody. You know what that means, everybody? <laughs> he don't think they're winning. Okay. <laughs> right. Um, I, I, I appreciate everything that y'all just said, and I agree with everything that y'all just said. I'm going to take it a bit further. But – I'm 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 looking at because I'm gonna be fair. I'm gonna be fair. I, I judge what's around Carson Wentz. I'm judging. I'm 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 looking at what's a, what's going to be around Jalen Hurts. Is this defense going to put him in a predicament to get a turn get turnovers? Is this is this um is this special teams going to put pin him at the ten yard line every single drive, or are they going to get to the thirty or the forty so he don't got to drive the whole damn football field? Um. Are these wide receivers going to get open? Because the scheme to me is the is is the problem when it comes to because we got talent. I understand, you know, we want to get on Howie, but I think that we have talent. It's just that you had Fulgrim balling, you put back in Alshon Jeffrey, they spit in us uh, uh, snaps, and it's and, and he's not getting the targets. If the targets go down, the receptions go down, the yards go down, the touchdowns go down. So when you look at it, Doug, are you going to run the football? What is every everything around him has to come to fruition for this kid to see? I'll, t- I'll tell you one guy he got in his back pocket. I just read something about Jalen Rager saying that you know they real close friends and the, you know he throws the ball to him after every practice. My whole thing is this: why you why didn't you try to get that cohesion down pat with your with your quarterback with the starting quarterback? You know what I mean? How, why are you catching balls? A lot of people. This is the thing around the NFL that I'm, that I'm starting to pick up on. A lot of people are kind of starstruck with Jalen Hurts, especially a lot of college football fans. And a lot of these kids just came from college, and they would love to catch a pass from Jalen Hurts. That's what it sounds like to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And and, and I think guys are actually going to play harder for him. A couple of guys but, 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 then you, but, but it's crazy that, that you said that is because is this locker room going to get split? Because you got the older guys taking up for Carson. It's so already like, because got, yeah, it, it's 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 it, the, the veterans don't like that they pull Carson. No. The young guys they think it's more opportunity for them, so they're okay with it. Yeah, because right? they watch a guy in college, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's only split. split because you you the locker room was split in the off season. You know, you drafted some young guys and brought back some old guys, and you put them together on the same team, which doesn't really make sense anyway. If you're going to go young, go young all the way. Don't keep digging up the corpse of Vinnie Curry and goddamn Jason Peters every year and bringing them back to the football team. Yeah. You're going to go all the way young, go all the way young. If all the old guys, Rager is a fan of Jalen Hurts. Right. Of all the old guys that you let go, it's Malcolm Jenkins. The one old guy you shouldn't have let go. And one guy you should have kept. Was Malcolm Jenkins the one, the, the one, the one, the one who's right now telling his team that he <laughs> everybody had on a spike on Sunday? Yeah, I mean, doesn't and, make and, sense. and he's talking he's heavy. He he's saying, saying they, 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 they didn't respect me. And, and, How, and he's talking about Howie. Howie, that's Howie. Howie, yeah, 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 that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about he, he, he you know, he coming at the front office. But it's funny to me that you don't want to pay Malcolm Jenkins two to three million dollars, but you give Jason Peters ten. Mm-hmm. To me, so, that's what Jeffrey Lurie. Shout out to DH Eagle. He always, uh, you know, good good supporter of mine. But why didn't Carson spend time with the wide receivers after, after practice? Listen, man, I'm not about to go chase you down to go catch no passes from me. You're a rookie. You should be trying to soak up that knowledge. I don't shit. Carson Wentz, like y'all want to say he a fifth-year player one minute, then the next minute y'all don't want to say he, you, you know what I'm saying, he should be chasing people around. You just got here. You're supposed to be soaking up the rotation of the ball. You're supposed to see how this thing works. I don't got to chase you around if you want to go play patty cake with the rest of the rookies. You a first round pick. Yeah. I'm not where, chasing where, you around. When were they that doing this? Here's the thing. Monday and Tuesdays, you're virtual learning. You only really get reps Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And by the way, right. the CBA limits how much you can practice. Yeah, with yeah. this COVID now, especially. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, I'm not going to try to buy the jail and Reagan were throwing and catching balls together outside of practice. No OTAs, no rookie minicamp. No, no training camp, no preseason games. 
Um, you know what yeah. else is no? The offense. I don't. I think the offense thinks that they're not allowed to score points during the games. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, no, <laughs> what's going on? Like they, it's like they're allergic to but it. But they're man. predictable. I mean, I mean, you know, I mean, you guys watch them every week. You could call out pretty much seventy percent of what they're going to do. You know it. Yeah. You know it. It's you know it. they're in a second and one. They're running the ball right up the middle. You know. You, know, you, you, you guys. I don't know if you guys caught um my last video. I think the video before last, something like that. Where I talked about that jet sweep, that that jet sweep that they did to Jalen Rager, mm -hmm. it was only ran one time. Plays like that are set up plays. You keep you keep running that play until you, you, you want to keep running that play. Then you bust them over the top of the head. How yeah. could you only call that one time? Yeah. Even if the play failed, it was still effective because you're keeping that defense, you know, flowing right. a certain way. It's just well, the play. But but but, 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 I, but once again. They don't use the players to their best ability. Do we forget that Greg Ward is a ex quarterback? I have not seen him he throw a pass since he's been here. Exactly, because when you look at it, you got dudes like Cole Beasley. You know, you you West Wall or all uh, uh, Julia Edelman. You see them dudes. You see them dudes oh, no. being schemed. Um, Matt Landry. That, if you want, that's what I'm saying. Like you, like like like. When, when's the last time? And I'm going to ask all, all of y'all and all of y'all in the chat also, when is the last time we seen a play? We said, oh, my gosh, who thought of that? That was that was amazing. The last time for me was the flea flicker in the NFC championship from Foles to um, Torrey Smith. Or the, or, or the Philly special. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah, the, the last time and I saw a play like that was our bye week. And, and then they ran it two more times after that. Yeah, right. the bye week was great. That was the I, best right. the last about what? <laughs> Through 13, 14 weeks, the last time I saw a play like that was on our bye week when I could watch Red Zone. <laughs> yo, yo, watch a Red Zone make me want to cry. I ain't going to lie to you. You see dudes getting schemed wide open all the time, all across the league. It don't matter if it's a good defense. It don't matter what the situation is. Dudes are getting schemed open all the time, man, and that doesn't happen here, and it's a shame. I've never seen a team do play action fake. When, when they have no threat of running, when the defense <laughs> does not even care or it. worry about you running, and they just do it, and they do it. And then they run like two times to start the game, then they try to do play action. I, I've never seen so, such stupidity. It, it's how, just, how, about, how about doing play action on the third and 14? <laughs> third and 14. And Who's all the right? play action does like, is give that extra second. That? I don't know. It's a second for him to get set. Exactly. Yeah, just yeah. give that extra second for the defensive line to get to him. It, it yeah, doesn't make sense. And then you get a second and one. You, you have a second and one at the 50. You can't roll them out and go long, take a shot or something like that. They, they're they just so predictable. But, 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 but how about – I don't know how y'all felt about this. I know how Mike and I know how Gates felt about this. How about um, you start the game and you, you get a penalty, you're first and five, and you run three passing calls from the – it's like, dude – what are you doing, bro? You talking, talking about the Browns game, right? Yeah, talking about the Browns game, the first exactly game. the first bro, time. Bro, bro. I could not, bro. I could not even fathom. I, I bro, that that's what I'm talking about. And then it was pouring that's down raining. Part. That's the crazy part. It's pouring down raining. That's, that's the crazy part. Listen, move. Li listen, a, a lot of guys are talking about this spark. The spark that Jalen Hurts brung to the football. All team was simply him moving the chains. That's the spark. If you could right. continuously get first downs and get guys who ain't done nothing in eight games to do this, being happy that they got a first down, if you could continue to do that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You create a spark. Yeah. Why I wouldn't love, you I, get the first down? I love when you when you can make it. Could have got five three yards on three run plays. <laughs> yeah, you could have. <laughs> I like when they when they go for two. Where they can make it a three point game, so they go for two. But, you know, kick extra point, three-point game. Nah, we're going to go for two. You know what I mean? Right. What the hell is going on here? Hey, no, but how about how about this one? I, I forgot what game it was, but I like when he went for two to get it to three. But then later down the game, we, we kick an extra point. We're still down by three, but he goes for two. <laughs> he goes for two. So, like, four and two don't make it. Uh, what? what? You, you, you went for two to be down by a field goal. You have the chance. You got that back. Stop being addicted to Two point conversions. Doug Peterson gets up there and he's like, oh. and and and, and, and let's not forget, <laughs> let's not forget, let's not forget the end of the Baltimore game when you called that 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 RPO or whatever the heck that right. was. 
like like for the two point conversion, we could have won that game. Why Carson was Carson was actually throwing the ball really very yeah. well in the fourth quarter of that game. Keep the ball in his hands. He that was hard. Do you trade Carson? Do you trade what? Carson Wentz? That's my question. Do you trade Carson Wentz? And what would you like back for him if your answer is yes? I'll go. I'll, I'll go first, y'all. Um, I don't want to, but if you're going to keep Doug, these these two dudes just can't coexist to me. If you're going to keep Doug, you got you you got to trade him. I'm pretty sure. Um, you know, teams like the Indianapolis Colts, uh, the Patriots, maybe the 49ers. I wouldn't want him in the NFC, but hey, it is what it is. I mean, the NFC. Excuse me. I wouldn't want him in the NFC, but it is what it is. So when you look at it, I would if I was if I was Carson Wentz and you're going to keep Doug Peterson, and we're going to have a long talk with Howie Roseman. If you're going to keep Doug Peterson, I want to restructure my contract. That way, it's easier for you to get me up out of here. Restructure my contract, um, and trade me. Trade me to the AFC, NFC. I don't give a damn. What I would what I would try to get back for him um, is really not too much. That you can because of the situation that you that that you put it in, the situation to where as though, especially if Jalen Hurts balls, it's going it's, it's going to be very difficult to get a lot back for him. You know what I mean? But hey, man, like it's it, it's going to be crazy, man. I ain't even gonna lie, to you. it's going to be crazy. But if Doug Peterson stays, yeah, uh, uh, Carson was Carson was got to go. I don't think you can trade him. I don't think you can trade him with the money that he's owed. I don't think I don't think yeah. it's possible. I don't That's think why I said restructure my contract. But, I mean, I, I, I if you're Carson, why are you going to do it? He gonna, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. because, because, because I want because I I need to get out of here. And here here's the other thing I got to say. I cannot stand hearing people tell me, dude, they, we got to trade Carson. He's done. He'll go to Indy and win two Super Bowls. If you think he can win two Super Bowls, why am I getting rid of him? Why do I want to get rid of him? I I'm not tra- I don't want to trade him. I want to keep him at least one more year. Get him an offensive coordinator. Get him a quarterback coach. Have him lose some weight. You know, put him on a bad dog boot camp. And then I want to sit there and I want to see what he does and, and give it one more year. Let him have a comp- competition with the Hurts. I don't want. I'm not you know ready to do it. Real you know fast, I, go, I want to do that too, but not with Doug. Smiling. I can feel him smiling. I just feel him smiling right now. I don't like He's to have a bad dog. He's like Brilly he Brilly. <laughs> right. But structuring contract is what puts you in, the, in this he's, situation you're he's, in. He's, he's right. And, and, and who's whose fault's that? Howie's. He's absolutely right. Yeah. But Howie paid him. I'm telling you, I think it's a contract you can get out of. Hey, I you know, and, yes. and what I trade him, since I'm talking, what, what, I, what I trade him, somebody got to go, either him or Hurts, because it's a controversy now. You got you got somebody got to go. You can use this opportunity to build some good tape on Hurts, and you're hoping that it's going to be good tape, so you can try to sell that off because you need at least a, your second round pick back for him if he if he's halfway decent. You know what I'm saying? But I wouldn't trade Carson Wentz either, man. You know, um, I thought the half was going to be enough when they were going to start him against the Saints, and then they were going to just monitor him. But I wouldn't trade him. I think if he goes anywhere else, like Baltimore. Listen, Tampa gonna need a quarterback soon. You know what I'm saying? I'm not not Baltimore. I'm sorry. Um, Tampa, uh, Tampa you're right. Um, the Jets gonna need a quarterback. Dudes could switch up really oh, what they, they want. They get to Lawrence. Oh, yeah, they get Lawrence. Yeah. They get Lawrence. <laughs> no, 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 that's not necessarily true. A guy would take his chance on a guy who's thrown a ball in the NFL before, and and, and trade that and trade out of that spot. You know what I'm saying? They could they could trade us that first round pick and take Carson. A lot of things can happen, man. Because a lot of NFL execs around the NFL. Love Carson Wentz. They just know if he's in the right situation, he'll flourish. So I mean, anything can happen, man. I, I don't think it's hard to move him at all. We don't think with think that contract, with that dead money hit. Well, that's what I was going to no. ask. Hey, he can, no, because so, all right, so that their money is coming down a lot. Think yeah. about Allen. Allen is due for something that's way more than Carson. Lamar Jackson. Everybody that's about to get paid is going to get paid more than Carson Wentz. So actually, in a sense, I think um, I think how we did it in perfect timing. But what I was going to say, all right, hang on, guys. So the Colts, here's if you look at the trade targets, the Colts are kind of in a in a money situation themselves. Although, listen, anyone can make it work if they want to make it work, but they got some guys coming up; they got to pay themselves. Quentin Nelson, San Francisco is very interesting because they're exchanging Garoppolo's contract 
So in theory, they could take Carson's, no doubt about it. Here's my thing, though. I'm not trading Carson until I see Hertz play. Like, Hertz is going to have to show me that this dude is, is straight up legit. Like, if he right. comes in and wins the next, you know, if he wins like three out of the four games or wins all four games, he finds a way to put the Eagles in the playoffs. Like, then I think you got a different conversation here. But I don't know about the probability of that happening, to be quite honest. Um, it, it, we're in a real sticky situation that was created by the freaking, by Howie Roseman. Howie Roseman created this freaking monster right now. He yes. created yes. this. And here's the thing. If Hertz balls and Hertz looks like, yo, this is the dude, you got until the third league day of 2021 to trade this dude. Not Hertz, Carson. The timeline is so short. It's so specific between when you get locked up even further into guarantees in the contract that I, I, I don't know why you would put yourself in this situation if you were the general manager. Yeah. I just don't <laughs> understand <laughs> why you would open this freaking what? He's he's it. He freaking you know, what? <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't say this. Look, I, I won't trade him again. The sample size of Jalen Hurts is super little and it's still going to be little in these yeah. four games because you see all the one hit wonders <laughs> y'all want to throw up that Carson was a one hit 2017 wonder you know what I'm saying it is what it is now I will say this though um you know we got to see what Jalen Hurts does regardless but I think exactly. Carson's going to be on the roster in 2021 now as a trade partner people keep saying about the contract quote me if I'm wrong gate I believe if we do try to trade them, we're gonna have to we're gonna have maybe 30 million of dead money, but that's 34. gonna make that's, that's gonna make Carson's contract that the team that he that, that receives them only pay, paying them 25 mil a year and 25 yes. for a quarterback is what you call cheap. You know what yeah, I mean? But the so, is, so the 30 mil, it is a 30 mil cap hit. We'll we'll suffer from that, but we're not only just sacrificing the other 30 mil that was on that 60. So but you're also getting out of the 15 million extra you would have been due for 2022 on the third league calendar day of 2021. Right. And by yeah. the way, he's there on the third league calendar day of 2022. His entire 2022 salary is guaranteed. Is so, it, is yeah, it, that's, isn't that's, he, 24 million, isn't yeah. he 24 million in dead money the following year? So he's 30 yes. something three this year, then he's 24 next year. And the thing that you have to remember, it's not about what. The other team pays. It is is Jeffrey Lurie willing to eat that dead money? That's I don't think he can trade it. You know, and what can you get compensation for? What, what kind of compensation you you take for Carson Wentz? Third round pick, fourth round pick. But do, do you guys think that Jeffrey Lurie has pulled Howie Roseman to his office and said, "Dude, no. why did you do this? Like, no. look at the situation you no, created. No. Look at no, the I money. Think, I think Howie has pictures did. of him." I think Howie has compromising He's got video it. of Jeffrey Blackmail. Well, think about think about Jeffrey Lurie and Howie. Howie's been there since 2010. He fought with Andy Reid. He fought with Chip Kelly. He fought with all these guys, and somehow Howie always comes out with his job. Always. And and nobody deserves to get fired more than him, in my opinion. In the world. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right. hey, 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 five hundred. Uh, other than other than and, and uh, other than the second round pick, we already know you you didn't like this draft. No, I liked I liked I didn't mind the Rager pick, um, but I I liked the late picks. I liked the high tower pick, the Quez Watkins. I liked the you know I liked all those. I but, liked the Taylor pick and so the Davion Taylor really pick. I I yeah. I don't know, but the Jalen Hurts pick to me was so bad because you the could have you the corner. Go. You could there were first round talents still on the board. I mean, you could have gotten an offensive lineman. You could got a center. I mean, you you, got took, you yeah you could have oh my guy. You could have you could have got you took a quarterback and then you tried to act like this this doesn't have anything to do with Carson Wentz. You you're lying. You take a quarterback there because somewhere inside you're worried about Carson Wentz. I I I, did, I, I saw the day that he got drafted when it happened. That my thoughts were we're going to be in a quarterback controversy next year. I know it. Yeah, yeah but that's what, like. that's, what um, like. that's what this organization like. It's been like that since since draws versus cutting hand. Like like we've been in quarterback controversies. For years and years and years, man. 
and it's a shame. Like, like even with Nick Foles and 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 and, and Michael Vick and like 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 we can, we can go back years and years. It's always quarterback controversy that goes on, man. Well, the, well, Jaws and Cunningham, Buddy Ryan tried to create the third down quarterback. So right. he wanted Cunningham to come in on third downs. Right, Cunningham right, right. Come in. But he right, learned to play. But everybody was calling for Cunningham. Yeah. Because yeah, Jaws, Jaws, clearly better. Jaws wasn't good at, at that point. Yeah. Cunningham's the greatest quarterback I ever played. Listen, my, I, I know that, one that, person on this guy. panel. I know one person on this panel who is salty is, is salty gets. I'm not going to get as demonetized here, gentlemen. But uh, there, there's a guy on the top right there with an Eagles cap on who blew my phone up when I was doing draft profiles. I was like, yo. You have got to watch tape on this dude named Jeremy Chen out of Southern Illinois. Mike was blowing me up about watching film on this kid because he was like, yo, I'm telling you, this kid is like, like I, I don't know if he's a linebacker. I don't know if he's a safety. This dude's a right. little bit of everything. He he, he could be your Malcolm Jenkins. Your Malcolm Jenkins. That's what I said in my video. <laughs> I just got, I got one more question before we get out of here. I want to keep you guys all night because – Thursday night football is about to kick off. Oh, um, oh my lineup. Shit. So, so do you tank or do you try to win the rest of the season? That's my last question before we get out of here. Do you I tank can't. or do you try to win? I can't. I can't tank. I know we should. But I just can't do it. I just I can't go into a game talking about Larry, let's go lose this one. I can't. I just can't do it. I know yeah. it's the right thing to do. I just can't do it. I, I struggle with that too a lot of times. Like I, I'm like logically you should tank, but once the game starts, I want to win. But I got to tell you, if I, I'm in tank mode, I, I'm because I, I really think we got to tank. We got to lose out because this team is in desperate need of top end talent. And I don't yeah. think if they make the playoffs, they're not going to fire Howie. They're not going to do the things. They got to be embarrassed. I I mean I hate to say it, but. But I, I almost want to lose, but I don't want to do it in a way that Jalen Hurts isn't playing good. Like, I want him to play really good. But somehow, I, I it's hard for me to say tank. But it's a smart thing to do. You're talking, yeah. you could pick number three. Imagine if you somehow got the number three pick. And let's say Cincinnati got the second pick. And you, you could make some sort of trade and get even more picks. I mean, I there's so scared. much you could do. I mean, I, I just think that that in the long run, it's the best thing for us. But I don't want to lose. But the reality is, is I think we're going to lose anyways. True. Hey, yeah. I'm, I'm going to say my take real quick. Um, I, can nev- I can't wake up on Sunday, turn the game on, and be like, why am I going to watch if I want to lose? Yeah, I, I can't. always want to win. I always yeah. want to win. But as Philly 500 said, it will make our future better. But unless Howie's doing it, because then – how we blew it. But real quick, shout out to LB and Philly Fresh who are matching up this week in playoffs. Fresh versus LB in the Fist Vegas playoffs. Woo. Y'all going against each other. I'm going to sit back on my bye week, you know what I mean, and relax. But, hey, shout out to you guys. May the best man win out of used to. Yo, you, only got that because of, you only got that bye week because of one point, too. That's crazy. Oh, yeah. I lost last week by one freaking point, man. I'm sick. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go. Who's you, what you what you think about the tank? The tank or play it out, fresh? Um, come on, man. I'm a, I'm 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 a winner, man. DJ Khaled over here. All I do is win, man. I would never, ever, I could never, ever look my son in the eyes and tell him I I, I want to lose at anything. You know what I mean? So I don't never want to tank. I didn't like when the Sixers did it. That was that's I loved when the Sixers did it. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I loved when the Sixers did it. I, didn't, I, I mean, I didn't. I didn't like it. Twenty-two. I, I wouldn't be shocked. We would mm-hmm. be the first organization to take a kicker in the top ten. That sounds like Howie. No, oh, no. Come on, stop it, stop it. On, but man. you know what's crazy? You You're know talking what's about crazy? we got Alex Henry's but, replacement. But, but you know what's crazy? If we, if all right, so say say Jalen Hurst does fail, are you going to draft? Are you going to draft another quarterback? Another one. Draft? If I got Trevor Lawrence, I would take him. Hey, you're sticking with DJ Khaled, another one. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 but, but, but back in my tape. Um every time, like like Mike said, when I turn on when I turn on Eagles game, I'm rooting for them to win. Yeah. No matter, no matter what the situation is. You know what I mean? And I definitely don't want to take because of tank also because we got two NFC uh, opponents coming up. And I damn sure no, no, no matter what. How bad we are! Them two games are the Super Bowl to me. You know what I mean? Because I gotta mm-hmm. look, I gotta look Dallas Cowboys fans in the face 
and 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 hear it and 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 they comments and they text messages. No, I need to beat them. You know what I mean? So, but in all seriousness, yeah, I ain't, yeah, I ain't taking. I ain't. If, taking I'll tell you what. If the Eagles fired Howie Rose tonight, I would say. <laughs> I would. I would. <laughs> I'm trying to <laughs> <help me. laughs> We gonna watch this game. I'm gonna go over into everybody's Thursday night football action. So we're gonna get into it. Listen, yeah. everybody, the, the description for everybody's channel is gonna be well, everybody's description channel. You gonna I'm gonna show you where to find these brilliant Eagles minds. You know what I'm trying to say, man. So um next time, y'all, we're gonna get into it, man. Hopefully, I have my guys on again. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Peace. Man. Stay, stay fresh, y'all.